Welcome back to Bulgaria. Today I need to cross the border into Greece completely on my own. Because Bulgaria isn't part of the Schengen area, I will go through a border control process. And even though I co-own my van with my husband Brian, we only have his name on the registration papers. We created a notarized letter of authorization from him and I have our marriage license with me, just in case. I'm still feeling quite nervous for today and I'm really not sure what will happen. In case you missed it, I'm over here in Europe without my husband to take care of our van while he continues PTSD treatment back in Canada. I have to get the van out of Bulgaria in the next few days so that we aren't in violation of import laws. After a restful week and a half living van life in Bulgaria, I am ready to cross the border today. And, of course, I'm taking you with me. So today is my biggest day yet since being back at the van because today I have to cross the border, the Bulgaria-Greece border. It's pretty good. I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to expect. Um, Brian just called me. Okay, I just finished my dishes while I was talking to Brian. He's on deck, ready to be called if the border patrol needs to talk to him. So he's got to stay awake. It's, I think, 11 p.m. his time now, or almost 11. So I'm trying to go quickly so he doesn't have to stay up too late. Never know how long the line will be or anything, but... Okay, this is my fit check. I can't really show you the whole thing right now, but skirt, top, I'm gonna do my hair still. Okay, I'm ready. Well, not 100%. I've got to drive over there and ditch my gray water. Okay, let's fire her up. Get some AC going. Okay, here we go. Okay, Grey Water Sun, everything is latched back there. It is officially time for me to hit the border. Oh, I'm nervous. stressed at this point about the border. I don't know what to expect. I can't even explain how nervous I am. Butterflies in my belly. Dry mouth. Just have a sip of water. <laughs> okay, that first building there, we just drove right through. There was no passport control there. Um, so now we're driving through another stretch and I think we're gonna be coming up on passport control here. Oh, here we go, welcome to Greece sign. Okay, it appears that now I'm starting to cruise into the area where they're gonna check things. Okay, I gave them the vehicle registration and my passport and things seem to be going well so far. They were really curious what I was up to. Okay, here they come. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. I'm 
in Greece. Yes. Oh my goodness. It was a success. I'm in Greece. I should pull over and call Brian. Okay. Ciao. Everything went well. They were really friendly, honestly. They were curious about what I was doing, but they weren't confrontational at all, which is so nice. Um, and when I, so I always have to show the interior of the van. So I opened the door for them and he was like, wow, nice. So yeah, it was a really easy, pleasant, border crossing, which is such a relief, honestly. I was not sure what to expect. I ended up only having to show them my passport and the vehicle registration documents, and that was it. They didn't need anything else. I have an hour and 20 minute drive to get to Thessaloniki, so I am probably just gonna cruise that. I'm thinking I may stop in a little bit and get a Coca-Cola out because I'm parched after that. Like my throat got so dry because I was nervous. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm just going to be listening to a podcast driving. I made it. I'm in Greece. Yes! So I'm at a camper parking spot now. You can see here I've got a camper beside me. So I'll be camping here a little bit and then I might go around, drive around a bit. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'll be leaving the van here. So I made it! And the person who runs it knows me because we stayed here before, so it's really nice to see them. So I'm gonna go have a coffee with them. Okay, things have gotten a bit dicey here. <laughs> it's really hot in the van, so I'm just sitting here moving the least amount of possible, the least amount possible, and just sweating and waiting for it to get cooler. So I haven't been doing a whole lot at all. So far, I've parked, filled up the water tank, um, had a coffee with the people who run this place, and now I'm uploading my footage from, I guess it'll be last week's video. And it is not easy. My drone overheated, I had to put it in the fridge. My phone overheated. My computer feels like it's close to overheating. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's not even really conducive to work. So I'm planning to be here in Greece for two weeks. And now that I've experienced what it's like to hang out here in the heat, I'm thinking I'm going to have to find a beach campground and hang out there so I can swim and have like the breeze from the ocean for a while. So I think I'm gonna have to start looking into that. <laughs> morning I slept from like midnight until 9 30 so really good sleep and that was when it was the coolest which was such a relief I was like I made dinner and I wanted to film but like my brain was like mush it felt like I'm just not used to this heat yet but that's okay so either I'm gonna move locations and go somewhere different in in Greece today or I'm going to go tomorrow figure that out in a little bit. I'll update you. I've got my coffee with my favorite Greek almond milk and I'm just watching Catherine Manning. I love her channel. She's like such an inspiration to me. Um, so I'm watching her video now and then what I'll do is I'll look up if there's any like nice beachfront campgrounds near me. Great news. I'm headed to the beach and I'm not sure if I'm just going to do a day trip to the beach or if I'm going to find another campground to stay at. So we're on an adventure together. Let's do it. Here we... Oh.
You will go in Panami. Where? In Panami on the point I sent you. Yeah, the shipwreck. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps we will come later. Okay. What's that me? Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've made it to the beach and it is insanely busy. I probably should have predicted that, but now I'm just figuring out what do I do? I'm feeling like uh, the sooner I can turn around the better because I'm not staying here. It's way too busy. Straight. Okay, I can really fit. So this person is moving their car for me. This way? Right, 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 and right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta get out of here. This is not working out. Unsuccessful. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to the campground that's on this beach and see if there's any space. Okay, I just pulled over to check out the situation and things on this adventure are not going well at all. I'm losing cell signal, it's a rough road. I'm just, I'm not in a good place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around, go back to where I have cell signal, pull over and make a new plan because this plan is not working out for me. I'm back in cell signal. I'm not too far from where I turned around. I parked beside some trees thinking maybe I would get some shade. And I'm just remembering that I probably need to check our rear suspension airbags because our one does not seem to be holding air very well. So I'm going to do that now and refill it. Okay, I've got a little bit of a problem. I can't get the cover off. It's like it got so hot, it like fused itself on. So that's not ideal. Now knowing that I can't get that knob off on my own, I don't think it's smart for me to go very far because our left rear suspension is actually broken right now. And our airbag is essentially like our only rear suspension. And then I just don't know how full that airbag is. So I think driving on it, not knowing if I can fill it up, isn't the smartest idea ever. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is maybe see if there's somewhere in this area to check out and just slowly make my way back to where I started. Okay, I'm back in my parking spot. So that was an unsuccessful mission today. It's been a few days since I filmed and I had like these big plans that I was going to take you to the beach and show you this beautiful spot in Greece. And as you know, like driving didn't work out super well. I did manage to fill up our rear sus air bag suspension, so that's great. But I've had a lot of time to reflection. I've had lots of chats with Brian and 
my plans are completely changing. So I am going to end the video here. I'm just about to drive out of where I've been for the last five days. And to see what I get up to, you'll have to come back to next week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.